Okay. Awesome. So for those of you that do not have a Facebook business page set up, you guys need to create one. So you can go one of two places. You can go over up to the top or you can go to the pages button. When you do that, you'll go down here to create a new page. You'll then go through all the categories, picking your name, choose your name wisely. Um, I have been trying to change the name of my Facebook business page for over a year now and Facebook just will not let me. So make sure when you make your business page that you're making it in the name that you want it to be. Um, the category, obviously real estate and then your description and then you can go ahead and create that page. Don't worry, once you create your page, it's not gonna immediately publish. You have to go in and physically publish your page. So don't worry about like people are going to see your page before it's done or anything like that. You have to physically go in and publish it once you are done with everything that we're going to go over today. All right. So that's how you start and create a Facebook business page. Again, I am recording this. So you guys will be able to go back through and um, watch this again if you need to. So once you have your uh, Facebook pages, you'll be over here in your left-hand side where it says your shortcuts. These will be all the pages that you either manage or, or own or whatever else, any groups that you own or anything like that. So my Facebook business page is Emily Wheeler's Atlanta's Best Real Estate Professional. Um, I used to have it as Atlanta's Best Realtor, but I got in trouble because you are not allowed to brand the word realtor. Uh, for your own personal gain. So don't do that. Um, even though my Instagram is still Emily the Realtor, which I know is not correct, they haven't told me uh, to stop it yet. So we'll get there when I get there. All right. So starting off on your page, the first thing that I want to make sure you guys have is your username section. You want to make sure that that is filled out and that you have something there. That's essentially how people are going to be able to search for your Facebook page. So if you look up here in my URL, the URL to my Facebook page is Facebook. Uh, dot com slash the Wheeler group. So whatever your username is for your Facebook business page, that's is what's going to go into side of your URL. Okay, so that's very important. Make sure you update that. The next thing, and like we talked about on team meeting, is making sure that you have a banner updated on your Facebook business page. Again, this should be something that is do part of your business. You can have your contact information on it or not. If you are part of Design Studio, they have a whole, I made this on Design Studio. There's a whole bunch of them, super easy to do. All right, let's start with the edit page information button. So when you look on here on your manage page button, you're going to see edit page info. When you guys go into here, you're going to see a couple different things. The name of your, your uh, Facebook page. So as you can see, I try and, I'm trying to change it to the Wheeler group. Um, it's not been successful yet, but we'll see. My username, this is another place where you can start with your username for your URL. This is also where you can uh, put that in. And then your description. Your description should be short and sweet. I'm a top producing realtor serving the greater Atlanta area. You can use this. If you want to use this, you can use this in your description. I will copy it and paste it in the chat right now. Okay, so that's what I have in my description. Under categories, you wanna make sure that these are filled out as well. Real estate agent and real estate company, even though you are not a brokerage, you are still a company. If you have an LLC, you are a business. So making sure that you are tagging everything that is could be about your business under the category section. This will also help people find your uh, page easier. Contact information, obviously that needs to be filled out. Your phone number, email, website, um, if you do not have a website set up yet, you guys have a free um, access to Playster. Uh, WGATL.com is my Playster website. I just have my domain shifting it to WGATL. So instead of it being that long Playster URL, my Playster URL is WGATL. So I have the old Playster URL um, like talk to WGATL, if that makes sense. A uh, location for me, I just have um, the... Uh, this should be Atlanta. <laughs> this um, as my um, as our office address. So this is just the bucket address. Uh, service area. This is something that I don't have filled out that you guys should definitely fill out. What neighborhoods you service? So Atlanta, Sandy Springs. You know wherever wherever you service, you should put it on here. Again. This is something that will help you seem relevant and have more people be able to find you easier. 
your hours. You can do always open if you want to. You can do open on selected hours. You can do whatever you want to do. I chose open on selected hours because I feel like it makes me feel like more of a business instead of just a person, if that makes sense. But that's just my take on it. So you guys can have any of your hours, whichever you want. Obviously, none of your temporary service changes. Nothing has changed um, with real estate except for maybe zooming more. Um, and then your additional information section. This is where you're going to have your bio. So if you don't have your bio, please make sure you are filling. You get a bio. If you go into um, Suite Assist and go under Training Videos, and in the first uh, the set of orientation training videos, you will see how to write a bio. So please write a bio. You want to get that on your Facebook page. You want to get that on your website. You want to get that on Village's website. You want to get that bio everywhere that you possibly can on your LinkedIn. Because what happens is when Google sees that there's something that is written multiple places across multiple streams, it's going to help you rank higher in analytics and be able to pull up your pages quicker when things are all the same across the board. So if you don't have a bio, don't stress about it, but go on this help desk or not help desk. You can go on help desk too. It's on there too. But sweet assist is where I want everyone to push to go under broker training under orientation, under the second set of orientation, you'll see how to write a bio. QR code, if you have a QR code automatically with your Facebook business page, so you can use this for branding if you need to. You can take a screenshot of this and put this on branding, which is a great idea if you are trying to target, um, you know, however, if you want to text it out, text it out. you want to do, um, you have that QR code. That you can use. Stop. This nigga, these niggas stopped and like, I want your dog. And I was like, yeah, and kept walking. Okay. And then other accounts. This is very important to add your other accounts. I should have my LinkedIn on here. I should have lots of other social media accounts. I don't, we're all a work in progress, but make sure that you are tagging your Instagram account. This is going to come in play very important when you are posting things on your Instagram or your Facebook and you want them to communicate. So make sure that you are linking your Instagram account. Okay, any questions about this part? Anything at all? You said the bio, learn how to do the bio is on Sweet Assist. It is. So Sweet Assist. When you go down to training, broker training, scroll down. So don't go to the first orientation, but go to the second one, things that need to be done checklist, view training, and then add your bio to our website. If you click on here, it'll tell you all the questions. There's like 16 questions that you need to ask yourself and fill out just on a piece of paper or write it down or type it out or whatever. And then this is the template where you can just plug in the answers from above. So it's pretty simple. Okay. So if you don't have a bio, that's how you can find a, a quick and easy way how to do that. Once you do write your bio, please make sure you email it to Amanda Hoskins um, so she can go ahead and put it on our website. Okay. Any other questions about your, um, uh, details of your uh, page details of your biz, uh, business page. Okay, perfect. Moving right along. So once you have all of your edit page um, info done and your profile is starting to look good, you obviously will want to start making some posts, right? So if you're brand new and this is your first, you know what I mean? You don't have any posts on there yet. I would go ahead and start posting some things. You can post articles, you can post whatever you want. And once you get to that point, when you feel like your page is ready to go, you can go up to the top where it says dot, 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 and invite your friends to like this page. This will then invite all of your friends if you want to do all your friends. Um, so you'll see up here, so I have invited 2250 and I have not invited 1021. So I can select all these people and send invites. 
well, doesn't want to send it right now, but for you guys, it'll work. <laughs> so again, invite friends, choose, select who you want to. If you want to go through your friends list and only pick certain people, you can do that as well. I don't really care. So I just choose everybody and send it. Uh, it may be down at the moment, but definitely want to make sure you do that. That's how you're going to get the most influx of likes in the beginning. It's going to be very beneficial. Okay. After that, once you start getting more traction and now we're ready to start building your page out a little bit more, we're going to go over to that services tab. I have two services underneath here, a listing presentation and a buyer consultation. You can do either. You all can go to my page and you can copy this. I, there is no shame. You can totally just copy what I have on here um, if you want to and put it on your own. Totally fine with that. Um, next to that is your reviews. Now we always talk about reviews and how important they are. What I would like for everyone to do is if you have a, um, pa a page already, if your page is already up and running, I would love for you to go ahead and get that URL from your page. So all you do is go to your Facebook business page, click on the home button. Copy your URL and then post it in the chat box right now. And I want, um, and I want everyone to go to each other's pages and write a review for everyone else. Okay. That's your homework is to write each other reviews because that's the only way that you guys are going to start getting reviews up front. It'll help you guys get traction and it'll help you guys be more relevant. So please like each other's pages and review each other's pages. It is going to make life easier for all of you. So after you get your reviews up, photos, nothing really to do here. This is just going to keep track, just like on your regular uh, Facebook pages to make sure or like all the pictures that you've ever uploaded, it'll all keep track of all of them. All right, you guys are quiet today. Any questions? Nothing? Okay. All right. Under the more tabs, there's going to be lots of different things under he here as well. So your videos will live under here if you're hosting any events, your community, and your groups. Your groups are important. So I have two groups that I have started. One is becoming a first time homeowner in Atlanta and I love Sandy Springs. Both of these um, I have not really done anything with but I wanted to save them for at a time when I did because if once there's another group with that name you cannot, um, you know, you cannot have that group name anymore. So I just went ahead and claimed a couple groups. Uh, they are originated by my business page. So it always, again, just makes it more relevant because my business page is the leader of those groups. Any questions? Okay. I got a question. Yeah. Um, I also have a, a, a another page because I used to have a business, so mm -hmm. I doesn't have it now. So how can I delete them if you have like other pages as businesses, but you know they're just not active? You go to that settings button over here on the left. You scroll down, and then uh, delete your page. Okay. Yep. If they're in the same field, you could merge your page as well. If you want to merge them, you could do that too. You're just gonna lose all the content from one of your pages. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. So once we get past all that, your Facebook page is looking good. Everything's good. You're getting some likes. You have some um, uh, reviews on there. You're starting to get things going, right? Couple things to go over in the settings section. Your messaging. This is important because what happens when somebody sends you a message, you want it to automatically say something back. So I have a messenger link, it's right here, but then you'll see you, there's a couple things. You can add messenger to your website. So if you wanted to link this to your place or website, you could do that as well. Um, show, set up automated responses. This is the part that I want you guys to make sure you guys are setting up, setting up the automated rep responses. So I already have mine set up. So mine will automatically say, hey, who's ever the name is of the person that is messaging me, thanks for your message. I'm not available right now, but I'll get back to you soon. You have that option. Um, 
Yeah, Hi. how are you? Where are the girls? They are annoying. <laughs> They're both sick. So, yeah. Hey, can somebody mute? I don't know. Oh, Stephanie. I mean, it's just like money. Okay. Um, and then there's multiple options here. So I have a frequently asked questions button as well that I have um, default ice, um, icebreaker question. So I can go in here and edit the questions. So right now, if they come in uh, and it like the analytics show that that's the message that it be, should be showing, then it'll say how, um, how to go about buying a home. What areas do you serve? Can I schedule a viewing? Are there any new properties available? Can you recommend properties in a specific area? Can you tell me more about your business? So all of these questions will populate automatically when somebody goes to message me. So then sometimes, and I will get messages where they use my automated questions um, already. So it makes it easier for them. And then they are more inclined to send me a message. Any questions about this? Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm, I apologize. I'm trying to follow you. Where did you um, go for the, to get the automated message? Yep. So if you go back to your business page, scroll down into settings, mm -hmm. go down into messaging, scroll okay. all the way to the bottom and then set up automated responses. That's where you're gonna to get to that. And then you'll have options underneath here of how you wanna set it up. So if you want an instant reply, if you want frequently asked questions, appointment reminders, whatever you wanna choose, you can turn it on and off. All right, got it, thank you. Okay. Any other questions about this? All right. Uh, your page information, we already went over this, but if you need it, another way to get to it, it is right on here. Your templates and tabs, this is going to be what is going to show on your Facebook business page, your tab. So what you want to show, if you want to show services, reviews, photos, videos, communities, groups, I did not want to show offer shops, jobs, or lives. It wasn't what I needed on my Facebook business page, so I don't need it on there. Let's say you don't want groups or events or anything else. You can do that as well. You don't need to show all this stuff if you don't want to. You can also change your current template. So depending on what type of business you are, um, it, you know what I mean? You can change it. So I did services because obviously we offer service. Um, but if you wanted to do something different or you have a different business, you can do whichever one of these that you want to on the templates tab. Your notifications. This is going to be how you are going to set up yourself if you get notified of what is going on with your page. So allow email notifications, allow SMS notifications. Um, when somebody interacts with your page, I don't want to be texted or emailed, but I do want notifications in my regular up here in the little bell thing. Um, new messages. This is important, right? You want to, you want to make sure that you have all of these turned on because you want to make sure that you are keeping, um, up with anyone that has sent you a message, page check-in, page mentioned, anything like that. Your advanced messaging. So this is going to be where if you need um, Zapier integrated with your Facebook, I run Facebook ads a lot. And so I have Zapier integrated with my Facebook business page. And then that then pushes all of my leads over to my sync account. So you can totally have that set up on here if you want to. Um, how you would do that is you go under general settings and you go under connected apps and then you would configure and there'd be an option for Zapier on there. You do have to pay for Zapier. Zapier, I think I pay like $25 a month in order to have that set up. Uh, Instagram can receiver. So right now, all of my messages that I get on Facebook will also link with all my Instagram messages. So I get notified every time I get an Instagram message from Facebook. Since Facebook purchased Instagram, it's made it a lot easier with, um, with how you can manage things like that. And then whitelisted domains. This is just if you wanted another domain that is a whitelisted, so it's a different type of domain. If you if you know what that is, you can put it here. If you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. Any questions about this? Awesome. All right. Facebook badges. Uh, top fans badges. This is a really cool section to have because this is going to um, 
be able to show you what um, who your top fans are. So you could turn this on if you want to. So once you start getting traction, the people will kind of be recognized if they're a top fan of your page. Uh, and then if you had any removed badges, you could, um, you know what I mean, remove them there. Page roles. This is really uh, important that if you have somebody else that is supporting you um, in this business or whatever else, you can add them as a uh, page role to your page so they can help you manage it. So they can help you share things to your Facebook business page. They can post things to your Facebook business page. If you have a spouse or something else, you can always add. I have my assistants on here. So all my assistants are on my Facebook business page. Um, so they can post things directly from their Facebook accounts. Any questions about this? Hey, uh, Emily, I have a question. Yeah. So this is kind of not about this, uh, but my question is, I don't know if you went over it. What's the biggest difference between a business and a personal Facebook page? Like, um, do you get any, are there any pros to having a business over um, a personal one? Yeah, so your so your Facebook business page lives on your personal page. So like my personal page is here. Yeah. And the business page is here. Okay. The difference between the two is so I would never post things that I post on my personal page on my business page. Your business page is kind of think about it like a job applicate, like a job resume or something like that. Um, it also allows you to view the analytics. So as you can see, like on my page. I can see all the analytics on it. So I can see how many people has been reached. So I've had a 425% growth and people reached, reached in the last week, 4,700% in post engagement in the last week. And then I declined 67% in page likes. Um, the other thing is if you wanna ever run ads, you cannot run ads without a Facebook business page. Okay. And then my last question, when you, um, <clears throat> when you put your Facebook page on different, um, media stuff do you you put your personal page or you put the business or does it the same so it's really just depending on what you want to do so i am different right me and my husband are both in real estate we don't have kids we don't really have a lot to hide you know this is like real estate's our lives so we are kind of an open book everything is really shared um everywhere um for us. Some people don't feel that way. Some people have kids that they don't want, you know what I mean, being seen or whatever else. Um, so it just depends on what you want to do. Some people just lead with their business page and that's their, their like main contact point for social media. And then other people use both. It just depends on what you want to do. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so that is kind of the overview of the page itself. Now, the one thing that has come back that it has been gone for a while is your publishing tools, which is super helpful. So on your publishing tools, you can schedule out posts on your business page now on Facebook and Instagram. So you don't have to worry about it. Like you don't have to do it yourself. So I literally go through here maybe once every two or three months and schedule out a bunch of posts. So when you come over here, you'll see all your posts and you'll also be able to view all your engagement. So my engagement is super low on Facebook. It's just not good, but I feel like just you got to keep posting in order to get more. So there you go. But your schedule post over here if, under the post button, if you go to schedule post and create post, this will then uh, be able for you to schedule them out. So I have another post going on March 7th, March 15th, March 24th, March 5th, March 12th. You guys get the point. Um, Rod had a great idea about foodie Fridays. So I went through and I just picked like the top 75 um, restaurants in Atlanta. I did a quick graphic for all of them. And then I have them scheduled out for every Friday for the end of March. Okay. But you can do whatever you want. If you want to post different articles on here, if you want to post whatever, you can schedule all of your posts out on here, which is pretty cool. Any questions about this? Okay. Once you get to a point when you guys are running ads, you'll see a lot more benefits. So you'll see in here, like, these are all of my ads that I have um, in here that I have ran at one point. Um, so this will help you keep track of that. And then once you are getting leads from your ads, you will be able to keep track of them all on Facebook as well. 
if I go in here and you go over here to lead center, don't steal any of my leads, okay? So these are all leads. So these are like 34 leads that I've gotten this year from my business page from different ads that I've run, different things that I've boosted or anything else that I've done, okay? And then I have both of their contact information so then I can export this. What I do is I export all my leads from my business page into my CRM platform so I can follow up with them. Any questions? I have a question for you, Emily, but when you're done, it's about the name of my Facebook business page. Okay. Another cool thing to make sure you're paying attention to is your insights. This will help you keep an eyes look on what is working and what is not. So um, page views. So I've had 50% increase on page views this month. My posts have not reached as many people and that's just because I haven't run ads this month. Um, responsiveness is 40% response rate. They will keep track of how quickly you answer messages. So make sure you keep on top of answering your messages as quickly as possible. Um, you can keep track of your page views. Like you can look at all the analytics of your page and how it's doing. If you post stories on here, your messages, anything that you have on here, you'll see all the analytics for it. So like when you start running ads, you'll see, again, I haven't run ads in a while. I don't know if I've done it in the last 90 days. I have not. Um, but you'll be able to see on here, all of your ads. You know what I mean? And, and how many reach and how many links, clicks you've had and everything else. And then under your inbox, the same thing. This will keep track of everything that you have going on. So you'll see on here, Facebook and Instagram, they are linked. So I have Facebook, I have Instagram messages right here. Majority of my stuff comes from Instagram lately um, from me message wise, but then you'll see some of them are actual Facebook pages. You can also um, label whatever you have coming in. So if it's a new customer, important, today's date or whatever, you can manage your labels in here as well. You can really, Facebook is gearing more towards for you to use them as like a CRM from the business side of things. Um, so you guys can do that if you want to. I personally still use Sync because it's just a lot more robust, but you can do whatever you want to do. Okay, any questions? All right, Simone, what kind of question did you have? Okay, I mentioned this to you previously. Um, before I came to Village, I had a Facebook business page, mm -hmm. but it also, it said Simone Madan Realtor and then um, Next Level Realty Group under, I'm sorry, not Next Level, Realty One, which was my old brokerage, right? Okay. When I came over to, um, to Village, I tried several times to update that and they kept declining it. So I went ahead and created another Facebook page just for Village, but I have oh, you know, over 300 plus followers on the previous one. So here's the thing on that. So I'm in the same situation. I've been trying to change my personal name on Facebook for a long time. So you can do one of two things. I did the same thing. I want this page to be called the Wheeler Group and not Emily Wheeler. So um, you can go under the settings section if they have still not um, approved it, you can merge your plate pages. So sometimes it approves it, sometimes it doesn't, but you can merge your du duplicate pages sometimes. Now, the problem may be is that things may not come over from the other page. So you'll just kind of have to, you know, deal with it. What you could do is if you want to start growing out that other page, you could post on your old page and say, hey, this page is going to be going away in a month please like my new page or whatever it is you want to do. Um, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing uh, eventually once I decide that I am ready to completely shift over. Um, but merging the pages is something that you could do if they're not going to approve it. Yeah, I tried merging, but what they did was try to keep the old one that I want to get wanted to change. Now you can change when you go into merge, you can change which page you want. So sometimes if you go in from the other side, like going from your other page. Okay. You could, you know what I mean? Change like merge, merge it that way. Okay. I'm going to try it that way. So you see, choose, choose the two pages you'd like to merge. So choose a page, choose a page. Sometimes you can flip flop them and see if it does it the opposite way. Okay. okay. I'm going to try that. Okay. Anyone else have any questions? 
Does anyone want me to look at their business page and see if there's anything that I see that should be changed? Please. Sure. <laughs> wow, people are here. They want to talk. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, can you guys take, get your URLs from your business pages and post them in the chat box? That's my old one. And let me give you the other one. Okay, so I love this. This is really good. This is great. What I would do is I would change this right here. This should be your headshot and not a village logo. If you have a team logo, it can be, but you wanna either have your own team logo or your headshot on here. Okay. This is great. You already have the automatic messaging set up. So that's fantastic. You have your location of the office, which is great. You have your bio on here, which is fantastic. Uh, you have your website, your email, contact information, your Instagram account, and you have really good posts. So you're doing good. One thing I would do for you um, is I would go up to this dot, 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 and I would... Um, invite friends to like your page okay to see if you can get some more traction on it now the other thing i would change on here is this uh your url because you want this to be a little bit more easier for somebody to find so if you do just simone madden or whatever your if you have a team or whatever it is it's called i would make this a little bit more easier for people to be able to look up and find um and so how you can do that is when you go into the edit uh info button, you'll see that there'll say, um, hold on, I forget what it's called. When you go in uh, to your page and then you go to edit page info, the username, sorry, the username right here. If you edit this, this that's the username that's gonna come up in your URL when people are oh. looking for your page. Got it. Okay. But ever besides that, it looks really good. Now that's the old page that I, I wanna merge. Okay. I would try to hold tight. I, I would keep trying to change the name. I'm, I'm with you. I'm trying to change it too. See what happens with it. Okay, let's go on. Ashley Williams wasn't getting much interaction. Okay, that's okay. Oh, where'd you go? Okay, um, your heading is size too big for uh, Facebook. It, it just looks too big. So you wanna resize that to make sure that it's um, compatible. Actually, why does your whole page look like this? Hold on. Could it be because I sent you the mobile link? Oh, it could be. Atlanta living with realtor. It's realtor. Realtor dot in converse. It wouldn't let me do the whole thing for some reason. What happened? I am dot. There we go. Huh? No, your page just looks like this. I don't know why. So you'll see on here, okay, so you have a lot to do. So let's update this and make this smaller. If you go, if you don't have Design Studio, you can go into Canva and they will have pre-sized Facebook banners for you already. If you have That's Design I made it. <laughs> really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I would go back in and, and try to resize it because it looks too big. Okay. Um, the next thing is, uh, is this your, the uh, real estate email that you use? No, I need to update it. I okay, update. update that. Uh, you already have two reviews on there, which is awesome. Ready to buy or sell without being overwhelmed by constant real estate posts. You're on the right page. Atlanta real estate made fun. I like that. That's awesome. 
uh, which one of these are the correct phone numbers. So you got to go on there and make sure, and there'll be suggested edits on your page. So make sure that you're choosing the right number. It'll probably text you to confirm. Um, your whole page is size weird. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. It could just be my computer, who knows. Um, but this is awesome. You're posting good stuff. What you need to do is once you make those couple of changes, go up into that dot, dot, dot again and invite all of your friends uh, to, uh, to like your page. Mm -hmm. And you also don't have your automatic made messenger coming up automatically. So make sure that you are going in there under the setting section, under messaging and setting up that automatic messenger. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Besides that, your posts look good. Thanks. Okay. Uh... Yeah, actually, I don't know, because this page looks fine. So I don't know. Um, I don't know why it's looking like that. It's weird. Okay. Stephanie, Jackson Birdside International. I like that. Um, I would, if you can add real estate to it, um, that would be good because right now people may not know what that is. Um, but besides that, I mean, it, it looks good. I would change this to a professional headshot. And then I would also have your logo or your contact information in your banner section. Okay. okay. Am I able to put real estate? I just didn't want it to be non-compliant. So that's why I was nervous. You can put real estate. You just can't put real tour. Okay. You could put real estate though. Okay. Uh, uh, this is great. So you auto, uh, you have your automatic messaging on, which is fantastic. You have um, your address. Is this, is this your house address? No. Okay. That's your office. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Just as long as it's not your house address. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, you still have your KW Realty uh, website on here. So I'm trying to take it off twice and it just won't stay gone. It won't populate. Okay. No. I would go on there um, again and try it. If not, I would completely remove it from here until you okay. get it to work again. Because you just don't okay. want people to go into your website and there's, I'm sure there's nothing. I'm sure it just points to somebody else's. Okay. Oh, you still have it. Yeah, it still works. It still works. Oh, no, <laughs> you they, haven't caught, they haven't caught on. So I'm just like, yay. <laughs> oh, there you go. Is this through Placer? Yeah. Okay, so you should be able to merge it. Really? Yeah. With okay. The, yeah, I would um, go on Who the Placer. help me with that? Uh, I would contact Placer directly. Their support and they'll be able to help you. Yay. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, they'll be able, they should be able to merge the two of them. Um, awesome. Yeah. And then you can edit it that way. Um, so again, suggest to edits, making sure that you are choosing, is this the right phone number for this place? Yes. Do you offer curbside pickup? No. No. <laughs> um, and then you have videos on here, which is awesome. Um, related pages, which is good. So they're all pages that are related to uh, business. And then Yeah, this is great. So you have you have posts on here. I would schedule out some more posts. So you you know what I mean? You don't always have to go in there and make sure that you are updating them. Um, okay. Definitely want, you already have some reviews on there, which is awesome. Yes, I recommend you. Thanks, Emily. <laughs> and I just added, I just, um, Whitney suggested that I make another Facebook page so I just did one um, moving to Metro Atlanta. Okay. On Facebook. Yeah, and um, yeah. I'm just trying to see how I can make those two work together. Um, they won't really work together because they're two different pages. But um, if you want to merge them, you can. If you want to post the same content, you can. You'll just have to go into each account individually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because I won't want to just be like, I don't want it to be from the standpoint of a realtor. I just want to be like, this is what Atlanta has to offer. These are the areas and kind of just be like, I know it all about Atlanta. 
yeah so you can kind of treat this page um more as like your resume page right so when clients can can want to look you up and google you they can come here and they can see that you're legit and then that other page can be more of like a group feel where you are more um collaborative and want people to more interact with you on there okay okay all right but overall it looks good thank okay. you simone let's look at your new page really quick can I ask a quick question while you're pulling that up? Yeah. So how do you feel about putting your phone number on your social media account? So like I have my phone number on my Instagram and I got the creepiest phone call today. It like freaked me out a little bit. So how do you feel about putting your phone number on the thing? I mean, it's not my direct number. I have a real estate number, but it was still like extremely uncomfortable phone call. I know. Unfortunately, as women, we're going to deal with that, which is horrible to say. I hate saying that, but I have my phone number on there. It's completely up to you. Um, I get a lot of leads from social media. I know, Danielle, you're really big on social media. Okay, are they going to say a phone? Are they going to say a phone? So uh, it's just one of those things that I think you have to kind of just decide on what you want to do with it. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I know. Simone, is this the right number for you? 404-621-6680? Yeah. Okay. Is that your correct uh, website URL? Yeah, it's a shorter link, yeah. Perfect, okay. This one looks good too. So I would just try to, to merge the page again, just changing this out to either your logo or your headshot. Okay, will do. Thank you. Besides that, it looks good. All right, uh, mine is ready. Yes, Kenya, you can email to me once um, you are done with it. I will review it, no problem. All right. Alexis, the same thing is going on with your page. I don't know why. Some of you, I have no idea. Okay, Alexis, we have a lot to do with you. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, no, it's no. I haven't like even shared it like ever. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna change this. Oh, edit this. Oh, oh, start a oh. new uh, banner and do something with it. Put your a headshot on here. Your contact oh. information, whatever. You can stay muted. It's okay. I know you're listening. Um. Homes by Alexis, I like this. This is good. Um, I think that that's a cute name for it. Definitely. Mine doesn't show it looking like that. It's so weird. Like really? mine shows the entire like uh, headline thing and it's like a picture and it says, count on me to bring you home with the oh, deepest yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. But anyways, keep going and cheer me out with this, please. Thanks. Uh, no, everyone, <laughs> please go to Alexis pages right now and pray her. please. She has zero. So let's just do this really quick. I appreciate it. Hey, Emily, I think you can take the, the M out of the URL. <laughs> and they should display oh, over right here. Yeah, it should display as a desktop version. Oh my there we God, go. you are so smart. Who, who is this? <laughs> I can't see your name. Tony. Tony, thank you. Wow, thank you. that's fantastic. Okay, sorry guys. Um, so yes, this looks great. Good job. I'm glad that you have okay. set up correctly. <laughs> Going back into the reviews though, please go send her review really quick because she has none and we need to help. Yeah. So please go write Alexis a review. Can I chime in? Yeah. Can you all do the same for me? Because someone had hacked my page a little while ago and they posted like a Jeep for sale or something. And I got a bad review from oh. that. And I reached out to Facebook about having it removed, but they never removed it. Did you post your page? Yep, you, Ashley, you did, right? Yeah, but it's the mobile one. So remember to take the M out. Okay. All right. So then everyone, please go to Ashley's and uh, send her a review as well. And I got you, Alex. Okay. Um, so five people only like this. Again, go up there and you're, you're posting stuff on here. So invite all your friends to like your page because you want to get that done. Does this page have a phone number? Yes. Does this page have a website? Yes. So you don't have any of that stuff filled out. So go on there, go into your edit bio section and edit all that stuff. Add your phone number, add your URLs, add all those things that you need. Um, your photos look good, videos, which is awesome. You have appointment availability on here, which is fantastic. So that's good. Um, 
So, I mean, overall, you, you've you gotten the gist of it. You have your book now button, which just a oh, book now, which is great for somebody that wants to book you. So I think you just need to grow it out a little bit more, get some more of those reviews, get some more likes on your page. Um, but besides that, it looks really good. All right. And Markeisha, yep, you can email to me. Alexis, perfect. All right. Um, all right. I think that's it, right? Um, Jennifer, no, you can't hire me, but you can watch this video again and you will be fine with it, I promise. Let's look at Tony Collins while we're on here. So we have a couple more minutes. And I hope this is helping you guys get more ideas from other people's pages um, of what you can do. Tony, love the banner. It looks fantastic. I love you have the URL right there. I love that you have real estate and that your URL looks good. Um, you have your populated questions, which is fantastic. You have 127 likes. So definitely want to make sure that we get some more, um, likes on that page, but I love your before and after pictures. Those always get a good amount of traction. So that's good. And you just posted it right from realtor.com. So you didn't even have to do anything, which is great. Um, you have your website on here, your phone number and your email, which is awesome. You have photos, you have some videos, you have appointment availability. Your page looks good. Uh, how about some reviews? Nope, no reviews. So everyone go to Tony's really quick and please send a review. All right, but besides that, looks really good. Um, yeah, looks good. Good job. Okay, anyone else? Thanks. Uh, Yolanda. All right, uh, I would change this uh, banner. I would either have your logo or your um, headshot or your contact information or something on here. You have the automatic um, group that's popped or the messaging popped up, which is great. I love that you have the URL that's on brand with what your page name is. You have a, a good address. You're sharing stuff to the page when you were top performer, which is awesome. You have a good amount of likes. You have your phone number, your email. Um, is this the right phone number for your place? 316-7239. Yes. Awesome. Is you have an old lander group? No, right? I don't know nothing about that one. <laughs> okay. Awesome. But it looks good. You have your post. And then let's go look at your reviews. Perfect. And you've had two and you see like Cherie sent one, which is awesome. So you want to make sure that you are um, sharing it with each other posts after this, everyone go to the Facebook group and post your Facebook URLs and say, you know, what? I'll actually post a, a, a something in the Facebook group after this saying everyone posts their links and then everyone go like and, and comment on each other's. Great idea. We got to help each other. All right, I think that was it. That was all the pages, right? Uh, yep, Yolanda, Tony, perfect. All right, um, any other questions, guys? Was this helpful? Very. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, good. If you don't have your Facebook page, again, go to mine and just copy it. I honestly don't care. It is all good. We there nine times out of 10 will not have any of the same clients anyway. So um, if you need help with the bios or not the bio section, but like your edit info section and everything like that. Um, but I get a ton of leads for my business page. Like I get a lot of messages coming through from here. Um, it helps with your traction. So definitely want to make sure that you're taking time to get this set up. Okay. Do you do pay ads from your business book? Page? I do. We are doing paid where I'm going over ads um, on, hold on. It's another Thursday table talk. I essentially wanted to make sure that all your pages got together before we started diving into more stuff 
on this. You know what I mean? Because you want to make sure your page is A1 before. Um, let me let me stop the recording really quick.